2013 Peterbilt 389 glider kit with a 2001 6NZ motor in it. Uh, it's got all the PDI goodies, turbo, injectors, manifolds, everything. It's about 850-870 horse. 18-speed uh, transmission in front of 325 gears, so she'll go down the road pretty well. Uh, it's a 2009 Dunin step deck with a quick draw tarp system um, on 17.5 tires. Uh, the paint scheme was basically we came up with it for the Shower Hotel of Show. A uh, long time ago my dad had an all blue truck with yellow accents that got on the calendar and I've been trying to get on the calendar for a couple of years now and uh, with my old blue truck they kept telling me that the color was too dark so with the blue and silver so we came up with a, the brightest thing we could come up with that nobody else really had at the time so carry the yellow in just to brighten everything up you know make everything pop so you know you can't go down the road without having to look at it. People can't walk through the parking lot without, you know, kids going, hey, look at the yellow one. You know, it catches your eye and uh, it's trying to get noticed. I have five lights across the cab and then I have 19 lights down the side of my trailer, but I have a ton of blue lights underneath the rail of the trailer and the frame of the truck and blue lights all on the inside of the truck too. I've been in trucking for since I can remember my grandpa my grandpa started the company years ago and my grandpa passed away and my grandma took over and then went down to my father and ever since I can remember it's been my father running it all week and me just hanging out and learning the ropes the company is based out of West Bend Wisconsin it's about an hour south of Oshkosh so we do a lot of business with Oshkosh truck and the Department of Defense up here so a lot of my runs, I usually get to stay in state most of the time, so I get to be home every night, which is helpful. Else, uh, you know, I've ran down to Florida, I've ran out to Kentucky, wherever the company needs me to go, I'll go. Okay, I went back to get my CDL, and they told me that a special instructor had to be sent up to me from Madison to retest me because for some reason uh, they think the skill set is different for someone with a prosthetic, either arm or leg and uh, their driving abilities so the lady came up from Madison and she came and we did a pre-trip and then we started to drive around the, uh, the route that she had picked out and I had a 13 speed transmission not automatic with my left prosthetic and we just started driving around and I was shifting and uh, she actually told me that out of the people that she's taken on regular road tests because she's an actual DMV instructor that I shifted better than most of the people she's actually tried when they've been beginning and uh, bouncing her head off the dash and whatnot from trying to shift so that was a big uh, confidence booster. Yeah he bought me an automatic because actually uh, once I got out of the hospital they told me I wouldn't have a prosthetic for a couple months so I you can only play video games and watch TV so much you know so I had to come back to work and I was actually driving my Kenworth which is the 18 speed and I was just doing the clutch and the brake and the fuel pedal at the same time with the same foot and he figured that uh, if I got pulled behind the scale I was just going to get attacked by the DOT officer so he bought me an automatic and I I just hated it I mean the way they drive and you know I got to be shifting it myself and I got to be feeling what the truck's doing I'd, I'd tell him every chance I could get that thing had to go down the road I didn't want it anymore in the, in the nicest way possible <laughs> yeah he finally listened and we traded in at a dealer by us for another truck for another company truck to keep making money and then we ordered this and uh, he asked me if I wanted an automatic in it when uh, we ordered the transmission for it and I said hell no <laughs>